Minds. It's Tuesday night and we're live. I'm so excited. Okay, the reason I'm excited is because 15 minutes ago, I finally decided what I was going to do tonight. So I'm super thrilled. What we're going to do is by special request, I've had one lady email me uh, a bunch and want a purple and white and gold marble. Don't know what she's gonna do with it, but here I am going to do a purple and a white and a gold marble. So don't judge me. I've never done a purple, white, and gold marble, but we're gonna see how it turns out. And you know, at the end, who knows? I may throw in a little secret sauce. You never know. All right, so say hello, everyone, to our moderators, the best in the business. Erica, Clara, Keith, Leslie. I think everybody's on there. Um, so give them some love, tell them hello, and tell them thank you for doing the great job that they do. Uh, they will have a list of all of the products that we're using tonight. They're all available on my website, rk3designs.com, and they will share those links to uh, you guys. Also, I want to have you give a big, big welcome to the man of the night, Kenny Draculis, who is still one-armed. He's one-winged, but he's doing really well. Come say hi. All righty, so he's doing good, guys. He was in pretty bad shape for a while, but he's doing good. He still needs to learn to shave a little bit, but he can't shave with a left hand. So. Yeah, it's very hard, so, you know, I do what I can. Yeah, so he's doing good one-armed. But now I have a really special guest, guys, all the way from Denmark, a dear friend of mine who has come to see us and say hello, Bjorn. Say yeah. hello. <laughs> all the way from Denmark. All right, guys, we have friends all over the world. Literally, we are the most blessed people, I think, in the universe because we have so many friends. Okay, so let's get started. I've had this epoxy sitting in my cup for a little bit. All right, so what we're going to do tonight, we're going to be using uh, some purples. And Clara and Erica and Leslie and Keith, y'all need to tell them what colors because I have already forgot. Uh, I believe we're doing Judy Shimmer. I believe we're doing Erica Shimmer. And I believe we're using a mica powder called um, something <laughs> by Color Passion. I forget the name of it, but they have it and they'll share the link. Uh, we'll also be using a gold from Color Passion, old gold. And Erica, if you will do me a favor, will you give a substitute for old gold? Uh, maybe the just there's a just resin uh, or something that would also substitute as an old gold because I know old gold is really hard to keep in stock. Um, then we're going to be coming in with titanium white. You could use the alumilite white dye if you don't have the titanium white, but titanium white is by far my favorite white. Uh, colorant to go to. All right, so what I've done to start off, we just have a white painted uh, MDF board. I fogged it with, with a color that I thought was purple, but it's not purple. It's this ugly color blue. So I tried to cover it up with a little bit of gold. <laughs> Again, if I can do this, every single one of you people out there can do this. So don't judge me. All right, we're going to cover it up anyway. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our three whites. And this is the question for the night for a prize. When I mix up my whites and I mix them up in three different translucents, what do I call them? What do I call the opaque white? What do I call the translucent white? I have a nickname for them. First one wins a prize. And I won't tell you what the prize is. And Christy, you better not answer this because I know you know. So these, the skim milk, do they need the same both? Yeah, what's the other one? You got to have both. Oh, both. 
Yeah, you got to have both what these are. And I'm not going to tell you what you win until the end of the uh, video. So you need to stay to the end. Okay. Okay. All right. So somebody needs to put both of those words in one sentence. But, okay, so the first one that wasn't a moderator was Cody Starks. Cody Starks. You're the first one that wasn't a moderator. Whole milk and skim milk. You are the winner, my friend. All right, so here we go. We're going to start off with our whole milk. All right, we're going to pour it. We're going to pour it out. Do, do we have two? Whole and milk. Okay, who was that? Okay, Nikki, we're going to give you a prize as well. Okay, so what you guys need to do is email me. Email Leslie, actually, at rk3designs.com. Leslie at rk3designs.com. Both of you guys, um, email me, all right? All right, so we got our whole milk down. Now we're going to come in with our skim milk. And we do this to build depth, okay? By doing these different translucents or different shades of white, we're building depth. All right, here comes the clear. Now we are using four ounces per square foot tonight. And the reason I'm using a little bit more, I usually use three, but I'm doing four when I do this technique because I, um, I like to be able to have a little bit more of the material to be able to work with. All right, so I'm gonna come in here now with my magic trial and guys listen i know i tell you guys to always clean it after these you use it but after these lies these lives i always forget so a pro tip you can actually sand this down and it'll make it kind of work a little better not great but a little better all right so i'm gonna warm up my epoxy a bit now you can see that i've sprayed a little bit of that gold down there just to give an undertone and I'm coming in here you can also do this with a bondo spreader the thing with a bondo spreader is that you'll have a little tighter pattern than you will with your magic trial all right all right so Kind of spread that out. You don't want to over meld because you'll get just one color, and I don't want that. I want to be able to have depth. Now, oop, I got a booger right there. Come back here. Oop, got it better. All right. So how's that working out with you uh, using the sanding? The sanding worked amazingly. Thank you very much, Mr. Negative Nelly, because you told me it wasn't going to work, and it did. And see? I don't know. Uh, it, you need a hush or I'm going to break your other arm. All right. So I love this because using the clear, it lets me see down to the substrate and that's letting that gold kind of pop through. Wow. So this is pretty. <laughs> so guys, guess what? Guess what I'm fixing to tell you. Don't forget your front edge. Well, I'm going to forget my front edge because I can't reach that far. All right. This could be a finish all on its own. Believe me, this could be a finish all on its own. With those undertones, mm. look how pretty that is. All right. Well, that was nice. See you all next week. Yeah, <laughs> no, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Luke, I don't know if you want to do a flyover of that or not. So by doing undertones first, you could do such a simple, simple technique and it absolutely turn out amazing. All right, let's start adding a little color here. Now, I'm not going to go nuts. I mean, I might. You already know. But <laughs> so now we're going to come in and we're just going to start adding our colors. All right, don't ask me which one this is. It's one of those that... One of the purple colors. One of the purples. Because they're a little closer than I thought. 
So why are you using different purples? The reason I'm using different purples is because I'm, again, building depth. All right, this is the Erica Shimmer right here. I believe, yep, I know that one. I believe this was the Judy Shimmer, and this is the Mica Powder that I don't remember the name of. All right. The Mica Purple. Maybe. That sounds like it might be it. Yeah, Judy Shimmer and Deep Violet. Okay, that's it. All right, now we're going to come again, and we're going to do our Melden Marble. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm not a fan of purple, honestly. I know Erica's probably going to quit tomorrow because I just said that, but I'm really not. But that's okay. So, I'm going to act. Can you give me a Bondo spreader? There's one right there. Where? Okay. Deep purple. Deep purple, yeah, that's it. All right, so I'm gonna. I, I kind of came in with my bondo spreader because with my bondo spreader, I can make a little bit smaller designs as opposed to my big um, magic trial. All right. Yeah, they're a little too big. Erica felt attacked. Did she? Did I offend you, Erica? I am so sorry. All right, so we're going to kind of let that do its thing. I'm going to come back in here with some white. Woo, where's my white? Where's my stick? I'm going to use this stick. All right. So as you can see, I mixed up way too much purple. So I'm going to come back in here, and I'm going to drizzle some white in here just to give me some designs. Now guys, please don't judge me on my purple marble because I've never worked with purple, really, honestly, a whole lot. The chat is full of judgment. Yeah. Are they judging me? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> nah, they understand. I mean, I don't understand the big brown or the gold in the middle. Because she wants gold. All right, so now that's what I'm coming in with. I'm coming in with my gold. And I'm going to do the same thing. Erica said super tilt it. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do is super tilt. Right off the board. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to slide that stuff right off onto the floor. How about that? So, okay, so Erica, this is a good time for us to talk about what we decided to do. Um... We are going to do a collaboration on a live. YouTube now lets two collaborators come together and do one live on a split screen. So what we're going to do is one of us is going to be the creator and the other one is going to be telling the creator what to do in real time. The creator is not going to have any idea what is going to happen next. So, that ought to be fun. How many of you guys want to see us do that? I think it would be so, so, so much fun. All right, so now we're going to tilt. And by tilting, that's where we get the color shift. It is going to be madness, absolutely. And there may be a little wine involved. I'm not real Whining. sure. Wine. <laughs> there may be some whining, too. All right, so I heated up my piece, and I'm just kind of getting it to do a shift. Now, the reason we tilt is to cause that gold and that white to kind of leave almost a shadow, an effect. And you can really see it right here. Look at that. Look at that shadow. Isn't that pretty? That looks, <laughs> that looks kind of cool, actually. I kind of like that. All right, so I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to hit it with some alcohol. Ooh, that actually doesn't look bad. Are, are you surprised, honey? Mm -hmm. A little. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to come in here with some alcohol. This is 91% isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going to lightly spritz. And the reason I'm going to spritz is because I want it to react with that gold in those veins. Look a here, look a here. Look a there. Look at that. See? Isn't that pretty? Woohoo! I like that a whole bunch. So what do y'all think? Now, like I said, I'm not a big, big purple person, but that's kind of pretty. All right, so that's, I mean, y'all, that's, that's it. <laughs> We're done. But let's play. Let's add some stuff. Um, I just happen, huh, I just happen to pull it out of my pocket, some turquoise. Now, just happen to have some turquoise. Purple just pull purple and okay let's set some rules here everything goes with turquoise in my world everything goes with turquoise so here we go now this happens to be a turquoise mica powder from color passion and you know why that's the color i'm using because that's the color that happened to be sitting on the table when I was mixing and I said, that's a cool color, I'm gonna use it. So that's why my moderators didn't know I was doing this. So <laughs> this is Color Passion, actually called turquoise mica powder. All right, so we're gonna add, okay, so y'all let me know what you want me to do. Do you want me to do veins or do you want me to do larger blobs? maybe, and meld it in there. So give me, I'll give you just a couple of minutes. Um, let me know what you want me to do. And while you do that, I'm going to have a little sip of an adult beverage, and I'm going to step off the camera to do that. How about that? Can they see me? <laughs> I'm going to have an adult beverage. Meld? All right. More blobs. Blobs? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Large blobs. Okay, you know with blobs, we can go south really quick. Why but but then why did you ask them? Because I want to know. So, I, I mean, I'm not scared of a little mess up here and there. Yeah. Are you? I mean, obviously, I'm doing purple. <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried. All right, come in. Okay, here we go. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Here we go. We're going to add a little purple here. Oh, my gosh. That's so pretty. And we're gonna add a little purple here. That's not purple, is it? Not purple. I said I mean I said purple, I meant turquoise, y'all. All right. Well, that's about as blobby as I'm gonna get. All right, we're gonna kinda come in here and well, the guy that wants the veins, there you go. This this is not a vein. That's more that is Oh my gosh, in what world? This is a blob. This is the same amount of blob Wrong that I did. Guys, on on the live feed, you tell me if that's a blob or is that That's a that's a this that's the blob that I did with the purple. That's a blob. That's not a blob. You want me to show you what a blob is? No, get away it's, from me. It's get away from me. Blob. Like that? Like that? Yeah. Is this what y'all people want? Yeah. All right, here it goes. This is a damn blob. How about that? Here we go. Blob it on there. You know what? I'm going to blob some more damn purple. How about that stuff? Here we go. Blob, blob, blob. How about that? How about this? Are we happy yet? Yeah, they said that's a blob. Now, a blob. here we go some more. I am blobbing until I can't blob no more. That's not a blob. Here's a blob. Here's a blob. All right. There's a blob. There's a blob. Nope, that's a vein. I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> All right, y'all got some blobs here. If it turns south, it's, well, it's Kenny's your, fault. It's your fault. Nope, it's Kenny's. Fight? Yeah. Not really. <laughs> no, we do this. We do. Poor Bjorn. He's panicking over here, thinking me and Kenny are fighting. This is what we do every live, Bjorn. Just get used to it. Too girl. many shelves. Yeah, that's what I say. Too many daggum shelves in the kitchen. Shelves, huh? Chef, chefs. 
All right, here we go. We blobbed it. We full sent went a blob. How about that? Woo -hoo -hoo! Hey, that's kind of pretty, actually. All right, we're going to do a little blob over here. Oh, Bjorn, go back to Denmark. Go back to Denmark. <laughs> There's no going back. They're saying, bring back the veins now. Yep, yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. All right. Okay. I mean, that's a melted marble for sure. Well, I'm telling y'all, y'all said go full sin, and I blobbed it. How about that? You were veining it. A vein went into a blob. No, let me educate you, sir, what a vein is. This is a vein. Here's a vein. This is a vein. Just all right. because it didn't go all the way doesn't mean that that's not a vein. All right. What do y'all think about this? Please don't agree with Kenny because then I, yeah. have to, I have to live with him. He's already milking that arm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go see this. Yet. See this little triangle? I want to put some color in there. See that? I like that. I'm gonna fill this in with a little bit of a little bit of gold right here. It's a mess. All right. It's a mess. Somebody said it was a mess. It is a mess. <laughs> hey, but I totally agree. But you know what? It is what it is. We can have fun. Hey, but you never know how this is gonna turn out, guys. What? Um, I don't know if I have any white left. I don't think I have enough white left. Let's try here. You have some clear in here. Do I have some clear? Uh, Kenny, run, run, get me just some white, please. Well, wait, I may have them. I may have enough in here to make some white. Let me see. This is good enough. Yeah, it doesn't have to be cold milk. Wow, I just love Kenny. Has just become an expert at just how to tell me what to do. Yeah. What I do best. You. Oh, someone said there's the white off. Pick up the drips off the paper too. Oh, that's a good idea. Is there some up front? A yeah. couple. Yeah. Okay, I got a little bit right here. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go a little bit. We're gonna cross. All right. Well, it's kind of translucent. Put a little so spray it, paint in there. No, I'm not gonna use spray paint. No. Nope. All right. So actually, the translucent does look pretty. It's not quite as what I would call in your face. It's very soft and pretty, kind of sinking down in there. Fog it. Fog it? What am I going to fog it with? White. Not black. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's see here. Let's heat it up and tilt it. What? Scoop up the drips for an exotic vein. Yeah, uh, I can do that. I don't know if you have enough. I may not have enough. I think what y'all are seeing. Here's a little bit of purple. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a whole lot. A lot of what y'all are seeing up front uh, is contaminated because we did a finish earlier. I'm afraid I'd get some colors in it. But hey, you know what, Luke? Do a flyover really quick. Look at Look at these colors, what they're doing. I kind of did almost a swipe when I went in there and used the turquoise. I mean, that's some pretty colors, y'all. That's like straight up peacock right there. Look at that right there. Well, the only fusion I have is black and mink gray. I was going to talk about that here in just a minute, actually. All right, let me do a, let me do a little bit of a tilt. We're going to tilt. Get this little puppy tilting just a little bit. I mean, you know, I could see this in something. I don't know. I'm starting, I'm starting to dig it, though. You're starting to dig it? Well, that's what matters is that you dig it. Uh, All right. So let's hit it with just a little bit of ISO. I'm not going to hit the whole thing, okay? I'm just going to hit 
where the veins are. Italian drip it? No, I don't want big drips. You're just there. The gold veins. I'm just hitting the gold veins. That way we have a variation mm. of cells and some that haven't been hit with cells. What y'all think? That's kind of pretty. That what? Pur that purple lacing over the turquoise. Yeah, over the turquoise. Yeah, turquoise. yeah. Nice. isn't that pretty? No, it's right there. Next to your gold triangle that's uh, not a triangle anymore. Well, that's about what I did in geometry, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's about my triangles. All right. That's pretty. I don't care what y'all say. That is pretty. This could be a finish all on its own. So there. How about that? Huh? What y'all think about my blobs? Now, what else y'all want to do? Y'all want to add some fusion? Fusion? Okay, I've got mink, gray, and I have black. That's all the only colors I have right now. So let me give you a really quick education about uh, what's going on with our fusion sprays. So they had an issue uh, with the cans um, exploding or leaking or whatever they were doing. So I discontinued all of the products, and they just recently sent me some more. Uh, they only sent these two colors because they say they're in the process of changing manufacturers, I guess, uh, on, and who does the cans. Now, I've only used these twice, and so far, they're working amazing. They're not leaking. Um, so I'm so excited. Hopefully, I'll have all the colors back on the website pretty quickly. All right, so... Have, do we know black or gray? Everyone said gray. Everybody said gray. Okay. I you concur? All right. So you still have to shake them, but you don't have to loosen your teeth shaking them so hard like you had to before. Okay. So are we going to, oh, I hate to even ask this. Are we going to blob it? Are we going to put it in a line? Are we going to, what are we going to do? So should we go over the entire thing? Or should we get some distinct colors? Let me go find an area that I don't like. Let's do this right here. This this front. You better hush. All right, I'm gonna do this front area because there's some colors that I that it, I just think it looks boring. All right, so this is the mink gray. I'm gonna come in here and spray. All right, and then as soon as I spray, I'm gonna come in with my bondo spreader. And I'm going to play with it just a little bit, kind of manipulate that around. So my epoxy is really starting to set up quite a bit, guys, because it, like I said, it was sitting in the cup a good 15 minutes before we started. All right. So that's kind of cool. See, it kind of gives that lacing. I think if we would have used the gold, that would have been amazing. Now, can you put some in a corner, like maybe on that back corner, and then spritz it? To see what it does. So I'm gonna, I'll put it lightly in the back corner. Yep. All right. Like, they're like that. I think it ties all the colors. In yeah, it kind of ties it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna put some here. I, this hard to spray because I have epoxy on my hand. All right, and now I'm going to, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some more gold just because I want the gold on top of the spritz. All right, so I'm gonna do this. How about that? All right, we'll do this. All right, then, so you don't, you just want me to hit it with alcohol? Woohoo! Look at there, look at there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Now, you have to be super careful, guys, that we don't get too much alcohol. Let's go ahead and spray, spritz, <laughs> when I pick up my alcohol. Let's spritz this, this piece that we just did. Let's add a little bit of alcohol to that. Oh my goodness, look, the turquoise poop, uh, peek -a through there. <laughs> Almost said poo-poo. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Almost said poo-poo. All right, that's pretty. Okay, so this went like way different than when we started, but it's, it's I'm not, not gonna bad. lie. I think the turquoise, like always, 
just makes it. I mean, hey, it's my favorite color. So what you expect? So what do y'all think? I don't like this right here. It's starting to go south. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this, watch. We're gonna just meld it. We're gonna meld a little bit of that silver in there. Look, I just took it and I just hit it a little bit with the, with the uh, thing, the bonding, the, I can't even talk. The bonding, the bondo mixer. See, spreader. look, spreader. See, look what I did. There you go. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, pause the whole thing. Ooh, ooh. Okay, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. So what's the difference? Oh, uh, it looks prettier this time oh, okay. <laughs> than the last time. So who says, because it's the end of the dadgum show, who wants me, and I'll give you guys a little time to answer, who wants me to full send fog the whole thing and then lightly meld it? So let me know in the comments right below. What do you want me to do? I mean, you know, it's the end of the show. So, um, all right. So while you guys are voting, I will give you a little information. So I will not be with you guys next week um, because... Yeah, because I'm going to be getting ready for a special event. Do you remember what the special event is? Yeah, but we're not leaving I know, but I have, I've got plans oh, on there. Okay. okay, so I won't be here next week. I'm sure one of my moderators is going to jump in and do a live for me. But I and my significant other are going to Montana, guys. My daughter is getting married. I'm so excited. Yes, March 2nd in Livingston, Montana. Why my daughter wants to get married in Livingston, Montana? Because it's cold as hell there right now. But she's going to have beautiful pictures. But she is getting married. Uh, we are so excited. We're so proud of her. So we are all leaving on Thursday of next week. And we will be gone until I will be gone. We will be gone until the 7th of, um, yeah, so I'll miss two lives. So I will let you guys know who's going to fill in for me. Um, but it, I'm so excited. So uh, Friday, the I think that's March 1st, we're actually going to close down for the first time ever since I started RK3 Designs. We're going to actually close down from March 1st all the way through March uh, 4th. I think that's the Monday, all right? Because Leslie's going to be up there with us. So we won't be doing shipping or anything on, from Friday till that next Tuesday. So anything you order over that weekend, we will ship it out on Tuesday. Or Leslie will ship it out on Tuesday. But guys, I, I can't even tell you how excited I am. Um, it's going to be so much fun. We're going to stay after the wedding. Erica's going to be there. We're going to stay after, um, and kind of do a little family vacation. So super excited. And, um, I will let you guys know who's going to fill in for me, uh, or if we just happen to have to cancel the live. So make sure that you stay tuned to our Facebook and we'll make posts what we're going to be doing about that. Okay. So do we have a vote on what to do? Send it. Send it. Everyone says send it. A lot, of, a lot of tilts too. A lot of tilts first? Yeah. Tilt first? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Now, guys, it's really important if you're using this mica spray that because there's so much alcohol in it that you have to let that alcohol dissipate before you torch it, okay? Just pro tip. All right, here we go. It's pretty thick, guys. I don't know if it's really going to move a whole lot. Because we have been sitting here yakking. Let me see if I can get it to move. moving a little bit there it goes a little bit of a movement not a whole lot all right 
Okay. Let's fog with our mint, mink gray. Let me shake it up. Yeah, guys, you have to shake it up quite a bit if you let it set because all those mica powders kind of sink to the bottom of the can. So it's real important that you shake it. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to avoid these gold veins. It's been a long time since I just like full scent on anything. Okay. Nope. That's not true. All right. Are we going to meld? Yeah, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm I'm kind of skip trialing because I don't want to hit every single spot. I want some of that mica powder to kind of peekaboo through or I'll stay on top actually. All right. That's kind of cool. I think I'm going to follow, I'm going to follow this vein with gold. I'm going to soften these veins out a little bit. So I'm just kind of taking my Bondo spreader and kind of following that gold. There, I kind of melded it out just a little bit. Got a big old booger there, but I'm going to leave it there. All right, here we go. Fly over. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because letting it kind of sit. Let me hit it with a little bit of heat. All right. Woo! That's kind of cool. All right. Letting that alcohol kind of evaporate also allows the epoxy to kind of get in there and, and fight with that mica spray that we just put on there. Now, I don't want to add a lot of heat at this point. And the reason is, I don't want that mica powder, I don't want the epoxy to get so fluid that that mica powder just kind of dissipates into my piece. I want it to stay uh, a little tighter together. So at this point, I'm not going to hit it with any heat. All right, so here we go with the alcohol. Again, I'm just going to kind of follow... I'm not going to hit the whole piece with alcohol, just random. Ooh -wee! Look up there, y'all. Look. Isn't that pretty? You know what? Screw it. I'm going to hit the whole thing. How about here we go? I'm going to hit the whole thing. All right. Look. Wow. I like it. What do y'all think? Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Unreal. It just I can see. That is pretty cool, y'all. And, okay, I want every one of y'all that doubted me to, I don't know, give me a thumbs up and give me a heart or something. Because I actually doubted myself. <laughs> yeah. But this is really pretty. There you go. Good thumbs up, guys. Thank y'all. Love it, love it, love it. So, if nothing else, guys, <laughs> you ought to be impressed with how long we were able to work with the art coat. Uh, it's, yeah, so yeah, I started mixing. Minutes. Yeah, but I started mixing. 15 minutes before. Right, so it's almost been an hour since we mixed up this art coat. And it is holding the design really well. And I could still do a lot more to it. Um, so you've got plenty of working time. So I love it. So turquoise for the win. Turquoise for the win. I love it. Okay. I love it. I'm so excited. All right. So guys. What? Oh, my gosh. My husband oh, yeah. is, my husband's having a heart attack because I don't. Other people are too. Well, okay. Okay. But that looks Way better. Okay. All right. Okay. You like that? Yeah. Me too. All right.
Thanks guys for joining us. I really do appreciate it. And uh, like I said, I will let you know next week who's going to be taking over the spot, uh, the next two weeks actually. So um, I'm super excited about being able to go and spend some time with our family and see my daughter get married. And I'm going to miss you guys. But um, hang in there. I'll be posting some Facebook. Uh, post about our trip up there. It'll be really cool. All right. So any questions? Nope. Do we have any questions? All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I did have a lot of fun. I was really worried because I really didn't know what I was going to do, but it's not really purple marble, but it's, you know, it was fun. All right, guys, I will see y'all in two weeks. All righty. Love you. See ya. Don't be scared. Remember, don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> so remember, don't be scared. Move forward and be creative. All right, guys, love y'all.